You got yes. a great afternoon with the entire building. I think for the first assembly this week, and for some of the kids, it was their only second ever in their lifetime, and they are just loving all of the performances. So thank you, students, because you did a great job performing for our students today. They were really quiet too. Did you notice how many kids didn't go to the bathroom? That means they really liked you. Really, a whole lot. So thank you so much for coming to us today. I'm going to take my cell phone. Maybe put on my phone. Maybe put it on my phone. Yeah, the quality of the video is just a little bit better. So I'm going to go check my cell phone. It's probably not as good as long. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to our spring band concert. I haven't got to say that in one. Um, it was really awesome to do our winter concert for just two years, but when I was thinking, when I was thinking about it, we didn't get to, we did a winter concert in 2020, but we didn't get to do a spring one. So this is actually the first spring concert we've had in three years. So this is a really special night. Um, the culmination, and special because the spring concert is always, um, I always think of the winter concert as a, a step along the way, and the spring concert is a culmination of what we've been working on um, the whole year. And I think you're really going to hear some uh, progress that we've made this year. So uh, first up in the program is fourth grade band. And these students are in their first year of instruction on their instruments. And the last time we heard from them, they were playing um, songs in unison, which just means the same thing at the same time, uh, together from their method books. So you got to hear the classics like Hot Cross Buns, Jingle Bells, Mary Had a Little Lamb, you know, all the favorites. But now we progress to actual full band pieces. So each of the instruments has their own part. So this is definitely a step up um, and challenge for them. Uh, the first piece that fourth grade is going to do for you is called Courts of the Noble Trumpeteers. It's called Trumpeteers. If you notice our fourth grade band, due to you know, the supply shortages out there, we don't have any trumpet players. They, were, they ran out of them at the store. So our saxophone, our fourth grade saxophone players, were very strong players that stepped up to be the heroes here um, in this song. So they're really our, our trumpet players um, in this song. This is called Court of the Noble Trumpeteers. Got the singers on? Jump, 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 jump. Right? There's one minute. One, two, three. <laughs> Here's all. 
but most of the kids are fifth graders are in their second year uh, on their instrument. Although it's their second year, this is actually their second performance as well. So uh, they didn't get to have any performances uh, last year, so it's been really exciting to get them up there. So you get to hear a little bit of a step up in difficulty in the pieces and the sound. And I think you really enjoy these three pieces that we're going to do for you. We're going to start with a um, really nice opener called Regency Fanfare. Thank you. 
Since we have one more piece that they're going to do in their own, we like to do different styles of music in band, and this one's in the rock style. And it's a song that was made popular by um, Bob Seger, which when I first started teaching, I would say, I've done this piece a few times, that, you know, your parents know this one, but now I kind of say your grandparents would know this one, because, uh, I mean, parents know it too, I'm a parent, and I know it, uh, because uh, this is, my parents are grandparents, and this is like their stuff, and also, I'm sure, this will give you uh, some Tom Cruise memories if you go back that far um, in the age you remember this one. It's called Old Time Rock and Roll. If you have the program and you're taking it with you, or if you don't want it, um, uh, throwing it away just to help keep the help us with the upkeep here. Um, next on my list. Oh, also um, something to consider since we're at the end of the uh, getting close to summer. Uh, private lessons are a good way to, can, uh, to keep them playing over the summer. Even if you just do that for the for over the summer, it could be a good way to keep them motivated. Or, or and if that's something that you want uh, for your child, feel free to email me directly, and I can recommend a private teacher. Um, or a music store that you can go to to get a, get a teacher. Private lessons are something that I recommend for any student, whether what, no matter what level. Um, it could be a great way to keep them playing in the summer. There's also some camps and things that you can check out. I think Pico does some summer camps. So again, if you have any questions about any of the camps in the area for playing, you can certainly email me and ask me about that. Um, next on my list, it's band registration time. So the new crop is coming up. So if you uh, have a third grader in the house, I think all that email. I know I as a parent got that email about band registration. If you have any third graders in your neighborhood who would be interested, you can tell them how awesome the band is um, and encourage them to sign up. Um, next on the list, instruments in the rest of the year. So uh, we are coming, the, we, are, we don't have any lessons the last two weeks of school because I'm going to be doing those band chess drives with third graders. So it's kind of complicated. If your child is a Tuesday lesson person, they can take their, their instrument home today and it does not need to come back, okay? If they're a Monday person, a Monday lesson person, and they know who they are, we are going to be able to have um, uh, one last lesson on Monday. We don't have lessons on Tuesday next week because the kids don't have school. So just so you know, if you belong to a Tuesday person, um, they can take those instruments um, home today. 
Uh, dismissal procedures, so once we're all finished up, anybody who's in a chair here, you can meet them at our LGI room where their instruments are stashed down the hall. That's where they went when they got here. If you belong to a percussion student, um, you can meet them directly right here on the stage. And take them home. But I always say, please take them home. Because when they go home, then I can go home. <laughs> Which is nice. Um, okay, and then thank yous. So, uh, first off, I want to uh, shout out a thank you to our wonderful principal here, uh, Dr. Mike Alaski. She supports everything in the school uh, that are, that's positive for kids, but especially the music programs uh, that we have going on there. And she's a wonderful principal. Thank you, Dr. Ma Mike Alaski. Notice, I was using this joke, but one of the one of the uh, band members up here was a little older for a fifth grader, or fourth grader, and it's just quite big, yeah. Um, so that is uh, Mr. Pisani, who is the band director at Ingemar Middle School for three more weeks. Three more weeks. He'll be enjoying his his retirement. We all we all aspire as band directors to be retired band directors someday. That's, I aspire to do that as well. Uh, but uh, we all he is uh, coming through the years. Um, to, uh, to play with the kids, give us the beef up the sound a little bit more on the low end, and um, you know, kind of meet the kids and be around them. And I really appreciate him coming um, all the years um, uh, to, to play with us. And he's always welcome. I have a focus and this invitation to do things. And he's always welcome to come back and play with us here at Ingmar. So thank you, Mr. Bazan. families. Without you, none of this can happen. You make sure that they get their instruments and their books. You maybe even read my emails, repeated emails about uh, when, the, when things are happening and all those reminders. Um, so I really appreciate your help and all that. I'm an editing parent myself. I've got a, a fifth grader and a second grader, so I know there's, there's lots of opportunities uh, in the community that we have, and it's great. My kids are involved in a lot of other things. I know music is one of those things, so I appreciate your support of that. Keep supporting them. This is, can be one of the nice things that they do. Um, uh, Keep supporting them and playing their instruments and participation in the band. But I wanted to personally thank you, uh, the parents, for, for your support and their musical endeavors. And then, as always, I'd like to have the kids give our parents and families a round of applause. I think they can do better than that. Come on. Four. second job is a uh, kid chauffeur. I don't know if that's in the queue out there, but uh, that's my uh, dispatch tells me where I need to take where uh, once I get home uh, get home from school. So I, know, I thank you very much for the family. Uh, we're going to close our uh, concert with one final number combined with fourth and fifth grade. So um, I want to wish you all a great rest of the school year. And uh, our fifth graders, I uh, wish you the best of your, the rest of your time here at Ingham Arm Elementary and good luck next year in middle school. Looking very much forward to working with these fourth graders again. I've already got some plans for next year in the working. Um, some exciting things for us to be working on next year, um, and uh, drive safely tonight. So again, once we finish our number, the folks that are seated, you can meet them in the LGI room. If you belong to a percussionist, you can meet them and then, and then take them home. So have a great evening and rest of the school, uh, school year, folks. We're going to close with Star Wars. Yeah. Hey, we got a baseball. Jump.
Thank you very much.